on Royal Fox keepers yeah. into the Jimmy yeah. The Western Aboriginal Harm Reduction Society Wars will be hosting a blanketing ceremony to honor our indigenous brothers and sisters who have lost their lives, whose lives were taken away by this war on drugs. And after that, we will be having a barbecue, folks, hosted by the Coalition of Beers Dismantling the Drug War. Give it up for Coalition of Beers and Save Us. Honor you with the speaker, Mary Point. Please welcome Mary. In the language of my ancestors, I let you know my name is Mary Point. I'm from Musqueam. Uh, right here is a place that we, our families, refer to as Kamkamala. We're also in what's known as a shared territory, so you will hear from our relatives probably a slightly different pronunciation of the words, but what it means is place of the broad-leafed maple. And I really love coming into this area, especially as I come down Main Street and seeing large old trees. And I just know when I look at those big maple leaf trees, those are the same ones my ancestors looked at as they traveled through the area and harvested before the visitors came. When the visitors came, lots of changes to this area. Many communities and many good friends gather here now. My aunties and uncles, though, refer to this particular place as a place they would come and kick butt at soccer. So they love this park, and we always feel really close to it. I'm really pleased and honored to be standing with my relatives from Slaywood and up the interior, our newest MLA, hands raised, and thank you to all of you. It doesn't go unnoticed that the numbers are way too high. Even one is too high, but right now it's our hearts are breaking, and we really, really need to gather and draw attention to, to this crisis, this emergency. So I'm really happy to see our governments here and to hear what they're going to do. Uh, the last words I said were in our language that means uh, all are welcome to enter this space and that's how we feel when we stand here as one, one heart, one mind, one sorrow, one strength, one commitment to making a change come. So I'm going to call first my dear beloved cousin my younger sister, Carleen Thomas, from the Tooth Nation. I just see him. Oh, see him, I tell you, 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 Hi, Sapka, hi, Sapka, I mean, Sapka, I mean, Hamathwe, I mean, Behold, which means Sewa Tatama. So, what I said in the very teeny tiny bit of our language that I know called Hankweetham, I said, My respected ones, the feelings I have inside are really good. I'm really happy to see you and to be here with you today. And in our cultural ways, I introduce myself to you with my ancestral name. I carry the name Ansakhalot. As far as we know, it doesn't have a meaning, but it's very meaningful to me because my grandmother had to find that name. That name was stolen at the time of colonization. When she found that name, she brought it to her oldest auntie because her mother and her grandmother no longer were alive. And she told her auntie she found this name and that this name belonged to her because she was the matriarch of our family. And my auntie said to her, oh no, man, you found that name. That name is yours. So when I came of age, or I came worthy to receive the name, my grandmother placed it on me, Ansakhalot. 
And in our cultural ways, I shared a little bit of my family tree, because our family trees are huge. I shared with you my parents and my grandparents. My mom is Deanna George. My father is the late hereditary chief, Ernie George, or Iggy, as his friends called him. Both sets of my grandparents have passed on. My paternal grandparents were the late hereditary chief, John L. George, and Lillian George, or Dolly, as her friends called her. For a real long time, I did not acknowledge my mother's parents. And I guess as I was becoming closer to becoming a granny myself, you know, my grandmothers were integral parts of my life, my formative years. I had to reflect, and what I realized was that I was a very colonized person. You know, back in the day when they were building Canada, they took all the Indians, that's what they called us back then, and shoved us onto reserves, drew borders around those reserves, stuck labels on those reserves, and what they did was they effectively divided us and they set us against each other. We're now in competition with each other over lands and waters. So in an effort to decolonize myself and reconcile my relationship with my sister nations of the Musqueam and the Squamish, it's with great honor and respect to acknowledge that my grandfather comes from the Squamish nation as his name was Squastemotoch. His name was Stanislaus Joseph. Stan Joseph. My grandmother comes from the Snenemo, the Nanaimo people, and the Ginkole, the Niska people up in the Nas Valley. And like my sister Mary, we raise our hands. Hi, Sepka, thanking all of you. I meet Sepwitwil and welcome you here to the homelands and waters of the Musqueam, the Squamish, and the Tsleil-Waututh people. I just really raise my hands to Kelly for reaching out to us and recognizing this protocol is important with important work such as this. And like Mary said, our hearts are breaking. We're living in a, in a city, we're living in a society that too many people are being, the lives are being squashed out of them. There's no, real care, there's no real, we all need to work together to help overcome all of this, all that brings people into places they, they find themselves in a very vulnerable position. So I'm really happy to be here. I really appreciate what Kelly and the organizers are doing today and uh, I'll pass the mic on. Uh, there is a gift coming forward to you from the board, dear sister. Thank you for your words. Pleasure to call forward our beloved sister from the interior who is now making home down here to help look after us all, uh, our beloved Joan Phillip. Hi, is Quist Amshan? That's my traditional name. And it comes from Salawatu. Uh, my father was from Salawatu. And I'd like to thank my relatives from Squamish, the Musqueam of Salawatu, for the opportunity to, to be here and do this work today. It's breaking my heart that we put so many of us away. Five years ago, on August the 7th, the day after our son's 42nd birthday, we overdosed on carfentanil. And as uh, other people have said, one is too many. It's too many, and we really have to do more and develop a holistic approach to this crisis, right from prevention and all the way through. My son is an addictions counselor. He said, it's not about the addictions. 
It's about the pain and trauma we suffered as children. So we have to recover from the pain of the past. We have to develop programs that make it easy for people to deal with that past. I went to treatment 36 years ago. And I can tell you it's not been easy. The first four years were the worst. Actually, the probably worst year is the one I'm in. Because <laughs> there's always that little thing on your shoulder wanting to, to medicate. But I just want to thank everyone for being here, for taking the time out of your lives to be here. 80% is just show up. Our relatives here deserve that much. And so I I honor you all and I'll pray for you all. Because I don't want any more of our brothers or sisters taken from us in this way. So why do So I'm just going to explain what the board is doing here. Uh, in our community, before the visitors came, uh, when special work was happening, we would give a blanket, uh, we would thank people for their time. Uh, and at one point, we put a value on the blanket, which was 50 cents, which was the cost of a Hudson Bay blanket around the time the visitors came. And so now, uh, we still carry forward that protocol by giving 50 cents in gratitude. It's not a payment. It's not a payment. It's an acknowledgement of the history and the culture and the protocol that we share. And there's been lots of talk, should we up that value? But no, we don't need to because it's not about the money. It's about that time when, when things changed. And we still recognize that protocol that was passed down to us through our ancestors. March hunting. I'm Halsic Nation, Kittisu Nation. I follow under my the two crests of my parents, which I just recognized as a, five years ago in my own healing. I find it very important to recognize the two crests on my both my parents' side. I am the raven under my mother. Her name is Valda Irene Star. I am the bear. Under my father, Thomas Medrick Humchick. I'm very honored to be here to do this smudging for the people. I've been on board with um, Van Du for uh, almost two years now as a sitting elder. I do frontline work. I've been doing frontline work off and on for 18 years. Here we go. Thank you, all my relations. So I'm just going to explain uh, what we're doing next as part of the smudging. Uh, we'd like you to come a little closer so you can observe. Uh, we have a number of members of wards 
the, of wars that are going to be blanketed and smudged. They know who they are, they're lining up and ready, and as our witnesses, it's important that you see uh, this part of the ceremony. So it'll take a little bit of time, uh, but it's an important step in this process. And the first blankets here are Kelly's uh, star blankets, and those are uh, blankets that are important to uh, us. They come from another community. Uh, they're definitely the Kelly White specials, but they they uh, they uh, they definitely uh, give strength. And uh, in our community, when we wrap you in a blanket, it's to send you home with our love and our hugs uh, as well. Hey, my name is uh, Delilah. I'm Carrier Nation from Fort St. James. And I'm going to read the uh, Western Aboriginal Harm Reduction Society mission statement. To celebrate our inherent rights as Indigenous peoples that have allowed us to resist extinction. To develop networks and coalitions of informed and empowered people who work to improve the health of Aboriginal people who use drugs. To recover a holistic traditional philosophy, reconnect to our spirituality and culture, and to infuse our politics and relationships with traditional values. To create sound communities, individual empowerment, and the reestablishment of relationships based on traditional native values. To improve the quality of life for Aboriginal people who use and have used illicit drugs and or illicit alcohol by developing support, education, and training programs for that reflect values of Aboriginal people. Masi. Uh, also known as Carlene, our dear sister. So she'll be the first witness, if we can call the board back to uh, thank her for this, for witnessing this specific ceremony. I'll also call on Ancien, our beautiful sister Joan, to be a witness, and Lydia from the Union of BC Indian Chiefs, as well as our sister Kelly, and Javier, Javier, are you here? Javier Bedillo, come on in. Yeah. So for our WARS members whom I'm about to call, uh, you should be already standing on the right side of the blanket, so we'll call that the north side of the blanket here, depending on which way you're facing it. It's still north. Standing in the honor of her cousin and longtime banding wars, right to human leader and community organized, Boomer Bundy, loving Boomer Bundy. Flora Monroe, Woo! in honor of Flora. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, La Quinones. Keely is from the... Uh, the fishing warriors on the west coast, and we honor our Mi'kmaq brothers and sisters. Uh, today, Martin is standing in memory and being blanketed for his birth. He just go to that side, yeah. She's standing today for her mother, WARS board member, Ida Elizabeth Pranto, Raven Woman, Haichikasiya. Girlfriend Nellie Bonnet Bloom. Yeah. 
call upon Keith Olson. Keith, Keith is from the Carrier Sikani. Ellie is from the Lake Babin Nation. The Ojibwe Ebb and Flow First Nation. She's a wars and band. She's standing today to be blanketed in honor of wars and band being member Miles Brent. Much love for Miles Brent. Greg. Delilah's from the Carrier Nation. Ones. We want you to know you're wrapped in our love now, and we hope this blanket gives you strength. Put your hands together with a drum. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Mary DeRoche. I work at Culture Saves Lives at One East Hastings. Um, I'm the in-house elder and these are my boys. Um, they sing on the big drum and they're going to sing a few songs for you. 